Hi everyone, so this video is the beginning of May updates. I wanted to do the end of April updates, but that didn't work out, so uh, yeah, let's start. So in this corner, I've shuffled some things around. I moved, uh, there was a Vanda here, I moved it to uh, the kitchen. Um, that's because I think it needs, well, it's not I think, it needs more light, and I don't think it's going to be getting enough light at the bottom here. I know that Vanda Cross or Esco Centrum Cross behind there also needs more light, but I don't have room at the moment. Um, so it's going to stay there for now. Um, I've moved my Phalaenopsis here because I think it has, it will get better light here than where it was in the computer room. And also I've moved um, Aridis Flabellata and Esco Centrum higher up just so it would be closer to the lights here. This is my smaller Ascocentrum mini atom, and the middle leaf seems to be um, growing okay. So this is my Aridis Hulatiana, and it has a new leaf starting. Um, the previous two leaves didn't grow that well, but I'm hoping this one will do a lot better. This is my Ascocentrum Ampelaceum. Uh, in the last video, I mentioned it did have flower spikes, but it was a little hard to see, but now they've grown a little bit, so I can show you how many I actually have. So there's two there, and a new root is coming out. And there's one there, and there's another bump at the bottom, but I think that's just a root. And there's one at the bottom there. So right now I have total four. Oh, um, another thing I uh, moved around is I moved my Ascocentrum curvifolium, also closer to the light. I think um, I haven't been seeing too much progress on this guy, so I'm hoping more light will help trigger more growth. Um, I still have no new roots on this, so um, it's not dead, but it's not really doing much at the moment. So this is my Paraphalaenopsis Leicocchii, and I was about to say it's not really doing much, but I did notice just now that actually it's starting a new root tip. And you can see it right there. So this is my Vanda Cristata, and um, it's finally branching its one root there, so that's really nice. I did mention in a video or two ago that it did have some flower spikes growing, but they have since stalled, so probably not going to get those this year or maybe later, I'm not sure. Also this leaf is, um, it's been growing pretty well, so, albeit slow, but it's growing, so that's good. Uh, this is my Rinkerides Bangkok Sunset, hasn't really done too too much. Um, although I just want to point out a milestone, it seems like this leaf is finally the same size as this last leaf here. So yeah, I guess it is growing, but it's so, so slow, it's hard to, you don't really notice it. So this is my Ascocentrum cross, and there's the flower spike I mentioned last time. It hasn't done much. I think Resquitzel is right in the sense that it does need a lot more light. Um, Right now, I'm not really able to produce that, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so this is my Princess Bajaratana and has two new growths starting. There's one here and one here. Uh, so this is my Vanda Lamalada. Not much going on other than lots of root growth, so that's good. This is my newer Ascocentrum miniatum. Not much going on. The flower spike died has this leaf. I think this leaf was actually when I got it, but anyway, uh, this is the latest thing on this, um, so we'll see how that grows. This is my Aerides Kinku Vilnera. Um, not much going on other than tons of root growth and that new leaf here. I think I mentioned this new leaf last time, but uh, yeah. Alright, so we're in the kitchen now, and you'll notice a few plants missing, and that's because I was able to give them away to new homes at our last Orc Society meeting. Um, so that's great for me, and great for them, that whoever won the orchids at the raffle. It's a win-win situation. Now I have a bit more room for some plants that I really want. So this is my Noidy Phalaenopsis, the Sunset Colors one. Still in bloom. Um, it looks like this leaf is starting to yellow, so I suspect it will start a new leaf uh, soon. This is my SLC World Vacation Shibuya Sunset. Uh, its new growth is doing pretty well. Uh, it looks like the leaf is starting to open properly, um, but I doubt that I will actually get a flower out of this. I just don't think it's big enough. This is my Ionocidium popcorn Haruri, 
and its latest growth is doing pretty well. This is my Brassavola cucullata red form. This is the latest leaf, and compared to the the largest leaf it it has, uh, it's not quite there yet, but it's done pretty well actually. Um, compared to this one especially, um, it's a lot. The leaf is a lot thicker, so it seems like it's a lot better. I don't know if it's gonna get any bigger. I doubt it, but um, it's done well. Um, I'd like to mount this actually. I think it'll be nice, kind of like sideways. Um, but I think I would prefer not a hanging mount, but like a mount that's standing. Just in case I run out of hanging space. We'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. This is my Aerides odorata um, alba. Um, growing slowly, but it's growing. This seems a lot bigger. Also, the new leaf on this little guy seems to be getting bigger as well, so that's great. Uh, this is my Cycopsis or Cycopsiella uh, limminghae and its new newest growth, this guy, seems to be growing pretty well and the roots are growing nicely all over as well. And this is my RLC Little Toshi and it's still in bloom. Um, I did smell it again but no fragrance. It does have a... Um, like it smells like a flower but it's not a fragrant flower at all. It has about three available eyes on it um, but I think this one is the one that is likely to grow first. I'm not sure, but we'll see. It's definitely due for repotting, and I think what I'm going to do is try Lava Rock with this guy. This is my LC Supersonic Striking Lip, um, and it's growing this pseudobulb. Um, it's supposed to be blooming size this year, I believe, but I'm not sure if this will produce a flower or the next growth. Um, it's doing pretty well, I think, so that's good. And this is my No ID Mazda Valia. Um, it's had a few new growths, actually. I think this one is the latest one. That's the largest. There's one there. And there's one there. So it's doing pretty okay. Um, I decided to put the clay pot inside this plastic container just to uh, preserve the humidity a bit more within, uh, I guess, the root zone. Because um, it does dry fairly quickly, but uh, instead of repotting it, I just put it in here. Seems to be doing okay, so that's good. So this is my Dendrobium Antonatum Cross. Uh, this one is the latest growth. It seems like it's doing pretty well. Uh, this one was the last growth, and uh, uh, like I was saying, this one is the the last growth. Um, it has a tons of happy sap on it. Um, I think it's done growing. There's something inside. Uh, it's hard to tell on camera, but it looks like another leaf could grow. Like it looks like there's something that could come out, um, but I don't know if that's just the stem or if something is going to come out. I'm really hoping for flowers. Because uh, it seems like it's doing pretty well. So this is my Dendrobium No ID. Um, it's also on my list of plants to give away. Um, but I don't feel quite right giving away a plant if I don't know um, what the flowers look like. So I'm going to be waiting for it to bloom before I give that away. So this is my RLC Durgan and its new growth is uh, starting to grow. So that's awesome. Um, I do need to repot this this year, and again, I will try to use Lava Rock with this one. Um, I do have a problem though, and that's this. I think I mentioned this before, but this thing has like a super long root, or roots, um, and I don't want to cut them off, but um, my idea is what I want to do is pot this part up, and then soak the roots so they're soft, and then wrap them around the pot. So this is my Dendrobium No ID. Um, it's also on my list of plants to give away, um, but I don't feel quite right giving away a plant if I don't know um, what the flowers look like, so I'm going to be waiting for it to bloom before I give that away. Um, this is my Ascocentrum Pacillum. It hasn't had much growth, uh, no root growth, and this leaf is just growing slowly, but um, is otherwise okay. Um, so this is my Kaisis Limminghae, 
it has three growths on it. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one in the back there. This is my Neo Phoenicia Felcata uh, Hakucho. And the only thing that seems to be growing are these two long roots. Uh, so this is my Vanda Robligiana, and this leaf is growing. Other than that, not much going on. And this is my Chelana Stella Sulfuria, and as well, not much going on. I think the old pseudo or the last, the newer pseudo bulbs are fattening up. This is my Galliotia fimbriata. Um, still lots of root growth. I don't think this is going to get any bigger, but I think this leaf will get bigger. This is my Tricocentrum albococcinium. In my last video, I showed this growth, um, but today I see there's another growth growing there, so that's good. So this is my Trichoglottis pusilla, and it has a active root tip. This is my Ariadocentrum uh, gugol. Uh, this is previously in the living room. And I think like I said before, I wanted to move it here so it would be closer to the light um, because last year I had like very minimal growth. Um, so I moved it here. It's directly under the T5 now, so I'm hoping for more progress on this guy. This is my Dendrobium formosum. Um, I took it out of the semi-hydro pot and put it in here hopefully to encourage root growth. Um, I don't think it's helping actually, um, although I also think it's too far gone to be saved. So you can see here, um, this pseudobulb is still sort of green. Near the bottom it's quite yellow and there's kind of mold growing where I previously had a keiki. Oh, I forgot if I mentioned it in the last video, but uh, the keikis are dead. So that didn't do well. <laughs> This is my Bulbophyllum uh, Memoria Richard Mizuta. The pseudobulbs have shriveled a little bit, uh, and the leaves I think as well. They don't feel plump. It doesn't have any roots, so I'm trying to encourage root growth, um, but we'll see how this goes. Um, this is my Dendrobium Christianum. Uh, its latest growth is doing pretty well, although it actually doesn't have any roots. Um, I moved it into a smaller container just because I thought the other one was too big. Um, so yeah, just kind of just trucking along there. This is my Dendrobium draconis. Um, there's not much going on at the moment, but there is an available eye at the bottom. Alrighty, so this is my Dendrobium cruentum, and uh, there's a lot of improvements going on, so I'd like to share that. So in my last video, I had mentioned that there weren't any available eyes and it looked pretty dire. Um, but actually this growth had an eye that I didn't see, so it's growing there, so that's great. And I have two growths here, uh, probably keikis, which is fine by me. I think that's good. Um, so that's really good news, so there's some improvements on this plant. Um, this pseudobulb is becoming very desiccated, but I think that's okay. I don't think it's rot, I think it's just being depleted. A couple issues I noticed just now is um, this old pseudobulb is growing mold and there's a mushroom in there. So that's not good. Um, I'll need to take care of that, but overall I think this plant is doing well. I think it likes the lava rock and this plastic container on the outside. It may be a bit difficult to tell, but there's a little bump growing from that pseudobulb. Um, I'm hoping it's a new root because I could really use roots on this plant. So this is my Phalaenopsis javanica, and actually it started growing a flower spike. It actually had a bud as well, but it blasted, but that's okay. And this is my Phalaenopsis cornucervi chatelade. I think the last time I showed this plant, these two leaves were almost the same size, or this was almost the same size as this leaf. But in the past month, it's grown so much, like that's really, really good actually. Um, so this is my Chloesia Grace Dunn, and it finally has a new growth starting. This is my Dendrobium Scabrolingu. The flowers are still in bloom, and they're still fragrant, but I haven't seen any new growths. I suspect the flowers will have to die before a new growth will start, um, but we'll see. This is my Leptodes Bicolor. 
Um, I don't even remember which, uh, leaf was the latest growth. I think it was this one. Um, it's not as long as the previous ones, but it's a lot fatter, so that's good. Um, this root is doing pretty well, it's trying to escape the pot. I feel like this one is also a good candidate for mounting. Um, not sure if I want to do that yet though. Last but not least is my Dendrobium Sherry Abe. Um, there hasn't been any new growths, but this, the latest pseudobulb, has started putting out more roots again. Um, so that's the only update on this plant.